want to talk for a second about American privilege, I guess, because um, I'm on my period right now and I'm literally sitting in period panties. Um, I might have a pair. Um, hold on a second, I'm gonna grab them. So I'm wearing a pair I got from Victoria's Secret, that, but I have a pair of Thinks ones right now. They're all burnt in the inside because the uh, the dryer <laughs> burns the fabric. But they're basically like lined uh, underwear by Thinks, and so you can bleed right into the underwear, and it has this like plastic liner. But it's kind of like a requirement, right, to have um, period panties if you're female because you bleed and I also have a k-cup so these are like re reusable um period uh items so like I don't actually have to go to the grocery store anymore and buy sanitary napkins or tampons because I can actually use these items for the remainder of my life and I, I hand wash the underwear and I just rinse off and boil um, the K-cup. The K-cup is like this plastic uh, cup that you stick into your vagina and then it, like um, it, the blood just drains in, right? And then I can also just soak in my tub for like an hour, right? Um, so even though I'm technically like on my period, I have like all of these like modern day technologies and really like my toilet like I can bleed into my toilet and it's mine and like the water and the blood will just run into the drain leaving in terms of like the sanitary cleanliness right of this kind of like gross womanly bodily function um it just kind of drains right out and my toilet's white again and then at the end of like the month I can or at the end of you know a, a couple days in my cycle I can um bleach my toilet right bringing it right back to its white nature um not everyone has that privilege and I guess I was just thinking about that today I don't really have any solutions to that, but I, I just, I want to talk about that for a second. 